Their signs voiced a different message on Wednesday. We are so, so thankful to all of the people that supported us. Around 2 a.m. on Wednesday morning, the district and the teachers union finally reached a tentative agreement. It would go till 2014, so it's a three-year contract. Under the contract, full-time workers would get 100% insurance coverage, whereas part-time workers would receive 70 to 90% coverage, depending on their hours worked. They came back with a proposal that was uh, close enough to our needs that, that, uh, that we could make it work to, to get everyone back to work and students back in classes. Outside the contract are two memorandums, one that allows school teams to adjust instructional time and another that keeps transportation services here locally. We come back and we're going to have our, all of our focus on one thing and that's the support of our students. Classes were canceled for all District 9 students on Wednesday. We didn't know. Teachers will welcome their students back on Thursday. Losing them and getting them back is going to be one of the greatest joys you know, that I've ever experienced. My teacher is kind of like one of the funniest teachers ever. And although it will take time to mend a relationship between the district and the union, things are expected to be back to normal here soon. In Eagle Point, Courtney Olish, NBC5 News.